Hi everyone, welcome to Trailblazing Tuesdays. I am Sherry Moner with Very Niche Solutions. And today I want to talk about segmenting your, um, your ideal client, your, your list basically, but um, segmenting your list based on your ideal client and who they are or when they need your product or uh, there's various options. Um, so this, uh, this idea is not mine. Um, I sort of, um, I've got my own way of kind of pulling it out of entrepreneurs, um, especially the ones I'm working with to, to really figure out their sales funnel and base their sales funnel around it. But um, I got this from Ryan Levesque's Ask Method. So if you want to know more about this and actually check out his Ask Method, because um, he has a different way of doing things, um, of sorting out clients and things, um, I highly recommend him. And I'll, I'll throw the link to his stuff in the, com in the uh, description for this video uh, so you have it. But the point of it, the, the gist, um, is to sort of segment out your clients in a very particular way that has to do with your ideal client. So um, if you've watched one of my um, videos or rants, some of them are rants, uh, about ideal client, um, I have you choose one person and then profile them. That that's you have one person that's your ideal client. And then when you want to, um, if you're sort of segmenting your ideal client, it's not that you're splitting them up. It's that they're a human. They have a full and complete life. Um, so it might be based on the emotions that they're having. So um, in one moment, one of your products might be really great for them another moment, another product may be great for them. Or maybe they, they always, they'll, this product is great for your ideal client, but getting them there from a particular emotional state is going to require a stepping stone in between. Um, so thinking about that and thinking about what emotional states they're in, maybe at different times in their life or at different times in their business, um, is really important for, um, guiding your clients and for creating a really um, solid sales funnel. Once you have figured out sort of how to identify your, your ideal client in different ways, either by different emotional states or different times in their life or their business, um, then you want to sort of create that product or that, that, or, or find that product, you might already have it, um, that's an intermediate for them that guides them towards your core product, um, but is the thing they need most at the time. So you're always asking what your client needs. Um, and you want to give them that thing they need most and that will make the biggest difference for them based on either their emotional state or their um, their place in their business or what they're looking for, what they're searching for in that moment. There's all sorts of ways that you can, um, actually I'll, I'll maybe do a few videos with some examples, but um, there's all sorts of ways that you can divide up your client. But the, the point of it is the, the action step beyond that is to um, find that, that thing that's going to help them most directly in that moment and use that as your um, free uh, sample product, sample of you and your product and um, what you're able to offer them more substantially so they can get to know you and, and get to know your product in a meaningful way and in a productive way. So I hope that helps. As always, please do comment and um, let me know uh, what you think or ask questions or uh, let me know what you want to see more of. And uh, please do subscribe if you are interested in seeing more.